This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. Roughly 80 students and staff members took part in a ribbon cutting to open the new $34 million Yost Elementary School in Porter, which will welcome nearly 400 K-4 students next week. The new school includes 26 classrooms with interactive smart screens, large group instruction space, small group spaces, and a new STEM lab. Our next generation of students and teachers will reap the instructional and safety benefits that come with a modernized learning environment, said Superintendent Chip Pettit. Emergency responders confronted a thunderstorm Monday morning while responding to an unconfirmed report of a capsized boat offshore from the Mount Baldy property of the Indiana Dunes National Park. The boat in distress was reported in Lake Michigan, but officials arrived as a heavy rainfall struck the area to discover there was no problem, according to Department Conservation Officer Tyler Brock. The DNR was assisted in the call by the rangers from the park services and officers with the U.S. Coast Guard. More road closures are set to affect travel in northwest Indiana, and this time it's I-65 beginning on Sunday. INDOT says the area impacted is between US 30 North and Interstate 94. Closures will take place between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. Sunday through Thursdays for three weeks. Motorists should be alert for work crews and changing traffic patterns, INDOT said. And in sports, Jack Smiley, the Times 2024 Basketball Player of the Year, announced on X that he is transferring from Valparaiso to La La Mer for his senior season. Smiley, who averaged 23.8 points per game to go along with 6.1 rebounds per game and 5.9 assists per game, is currently ranked as a three-star recruit on 24-7 sports. Smiley was the first player in Vikings history to hit 1,000 career points as a junior. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.